We have seen how databases can be used to store records of data. However, the main purpose of a database is for us to be able to ask it questions and get specific answers. In order to do this, we use a special database language called SQL, Structured Query Language. SQL has three main parts, select, from, and where. These are called clauses. Select identifies the fields of data you want to extract. From is the table or tables you want to get your data from. Where is the important bit? It is the question you are asking. Let's look at a simple database table. We'll assume this table is called TBL login. Let's say we want to extract all usernames from this table. We would write the following SQL code. This would return us this result. Let's look at this code in a little more detail. The first part says select username. This is telling the database what fields we want to retrieve data from. The second part says from TBL login. This is telling the database what table we want to retrieve the data from. But wait, there is no where statement. That's because we want to get all the usernames from this table. So we're not in fact asking it a question. However, what if we wanted some more specific information? For example, now we are asking a question, what are the usernames of users who have logged in twice? To do this, we would write the following SQL code. This should now only give us two answers. We can also do some simple comparisons on this using the comparison operators greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to, just like in programming. If we want all the usernames of people that have logged in less than three times, we would write the following SQL code. The result of this would be this. We can even use the asterisk wildcard to retrieve every field in the table, rather than typing out every single field name. The result of this SQL code would be this. Just like in programming, we can use Boolean operators and an OR to make complex Boolean expressions. Let's look at the following question. What are the usernames and passwords of the people who have had two login attempts and an access level of one? To do this, we would write the following SQL code. The result of this query would be this. The key part to this is this, where num logins equals two and level equals one. We used a where clause previously, but now we've used an and to check two things in our where clause. Now the database will only return records where the field num logins is equal to two and the field level is equal to one. We can use or just as easily. For example, Imagine we want to retrieve the username and password of two specific users. We would write the following SQL code to do this. The result of this query would be this. So, AND and OR can be very useful in asking lots of complex questions, but you need to make sure you fully understand how AND works and how OR works. If we had accidentally used AND in the previous query, we'd have received no results because there isn't a person with the username hc111111 and the username hc222222. Typically, AND is used to make a collection of answers to a question smaller, whereas OR is used to make the collection of answers to a question bigger. The term wildcard comes from games of cards like poker, where you would hear someone say jokers are wild this basically means that a joker can be played as if it were any card in the pack. Wildcards exist in SQL to allow you to represent anything and is basically a shorthand. We've already seen how the asterisk wildcard can be used in a select clause to retrieve all of the fields in a table. There is another wildcard that is very important to know though, and we use it in the where clause. The percent wildcard is used to represent zero or more characters. This is very useful when searching for a string that contains part of a word or phrase. However, when using the percent wildcard in a WHERE clause, 
you cannot use the equal symbol. Instead, we use the word like. For example, say we wanted to retrieve all the records for the computer IDs that start with the letters D5. We could use the following SQL. The result of this would be this. Why is this? Because the WHERE clause says WHERE computer ID like D5 percentage. This is saying where a computer ID starts with D5 and then is followed by any number of zero or more characters. Again, be careful when using the percent wildcard. If using it in the WHERE clause, you must use the LIKE keyword instead of equals. In all the queries we have seen, data has been returned in the order it is stored in the database. For example, if we wrote this query, this would give us the following result. However, we can add another statement to our SQL called order by, which will allow us to sort data based on a specific column. Order by has two options. Ask, this is short for ascending, and means numbers go from low to high or letters from A to Z. And desk, this is short for descending, and means numbers go from high to low or letters from Z to A. You need to specify which column name you want to sort on. For example, in this SQL, we would get the following result. Sorting data applies to the entire query. For example, the following SQL query gives us the following result. Notice that the results are sorted by the password column only. The username column is not in order. So, to query data in a database, we use the structured query language, also known as SQL. The SELECT clause gets all the fields you want in your query. The FROM clause specifies the database table. The WHERE clause specifies the question you want to ask. You can use Boolean operators in the WHERE clause to build complex Boolean expressions. The asterisk wildcard is used in the SELECT clause to select all fields. The percent wildcard is used in the WHERE clause to represent zero or more characters. If using a wildcard in the WHERE clause, you need to use the LIKE keyword. Results can be sorted high to low and low to high by using the ORDER BY statement. ORDER BY has two options, ASK for ascending and DESK for descending.